and kids. Hi. What do you think? No, oh, I'm gonna sit on some poops. All right. That'd be a mistake. All right, let's see. Do we have sound? Can you hear me okay? Kittens, what are we all doing? They're just chasing me around the room now. That's cute. That's cute, but I'm not over there. I'm over here now. See, I can move. I'm going to move back and forth. You guys, don't get ahead of me. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Okay. What are we doing? I remember we had a letter left over from yesterday. Where'd that go? There it is. All right, that's a good place to start. Hi, kids. Hi, you want to be some lap kittens for mailbags? Boy, you got a stinky butt, pal. You've got to make sure you're eating enough to make up for all that. Come on over here, bud. Rafter. Meow, meow, meow. You ate all that food that I brought in here specifically for the kittens. I knew you were going to, too. All right. Hang on one sec, everybody. Get this stuff in order here. Make sure that I can be heard. Make sure our cameras are pointed in a sensible direction. Oh, wow, playing with a cabinet pineapple, like really playing with it. That's pretty impressive, buddy. I can't quite get it on the camera. I'm afraid if I move the cheese too much, he'll move too. She'll move. That's Rafter. Look at that. Playing with toys like a real kitten. All right. Where are we here? Good morning, everybody. Good. I can be heard. Fantastic. Well, then I guess we're about ready to go. There's not any news, of course, since we just... Oh, did you get it off? Good job. DJ was taking um, a patch off of uh, one of her doctor jackets using a seam ripper. Ah, okay. So, yeah, no, no, no real news since we had news yesterday, although I saw there was some confusion probably about something I said yesterday. Uh, we still need adopters for uh, Cal and for Monkey and for um, Cal, Monkey, and uh, the girl, uh, uh, Brain. Holiday, so uh, that would be just in case you were wondering. All right, this is a very cute little note. It's got a little drawing of a kitten and a heart on the front, too. And then inside it says, Me Wow, with a very excited looking gray tabby. Could be one of these kids, almost, except not quite floofy enough. And. It says, if you're not totally impressed with yourself, you should be. I know I am. You are incredible. Aw. Aw, this is a love Megalina with a little drawing of a kitten wearing a party hat. And it says, P.S., the kitten on this card has arty face smile. I'll say. That is, a, that is quite a grin. 
hang on here. This guy's been very stinky and leaky. Uh, you should go back over there and eat some more food, okay? That'll make you feel better. Just had to do a little bit of cleanup there. Uh, thank you, Megalina. That's very sweet. I think you deserve a lot of credit for uh, Kitten Academy, actually, since you do so much behind the scenes and, uh, and in front of the scenes, too, on Discord. So, happy 8th anniversary of the Kitten Academy live stream. Who would have ever thought 8 years ago that deciding to stream your foster kittens, Hazel, and her 7 newborn babies on YouTube would have led to this amazing community where so many of us have bonded over the shared love of cute kittens and made lifelong connections and even started an annual convention just to hang out with our fellow crazy cat friends. The live stream started on April 20th, 2016, but your fostering journey started almost a year earlier on May 20th, 2015 with Maisie, Max, and Ruby. So in a month, you'll be starting your 10th year of fostering kittens. And what a wonderful impact you've made since then. Because of you, 50 mom cats, 288 kittens, 8 pregnots, and counting have known the exceptional love, care, and education that comes with Kitten Academy. Kitten Academy alumni have gone on to do amazing things all over the U.S. and a few even further in the world. From home office, home office supervisors, outdoor explorers, kitchen helpers, plumbers, therapy spooglers, security guards, hallway time advocates, and even staying as KA faculty, congratulations again to Teaspoon, and to Maggie, who was officially faculty six years ago today, the esteemed KA alumni are a true testament to the incredible work you've done. My own alumni, Rough House and Rumpus, are just so incredibly loving, silly, and overall the best parts of my life. Kitten Academy has had its changes and challenges over the year, and there's always new things to surprise us, but the core values of kitten love and positive community have never changed. It's been my honor to serve the community as an admin on Discord and YouTube, and also keeping up my own hobbies of tracking KA history, trivia, and statistics. I seriously can't thank you enough for everything you've done for kittens, cats, and the whole Kitten Academy community. I hope you and the faculty, Timey Wimeys, Snugglers, and Skyscrapers have a wonderful KA anniversary. Love, Megalina, Ruffy, and Rumpus. And we've got their little uh, signatures there as well. Megalina, thank you so much. I'm glad that you took some time to recount the history of uh, what we've done here since... As I was saying yesterday, I wasn't sure that I would get it right if I tried, but that's just um, that's one of the wonderful things about you is you really are sort of the Kitten Academy historian. You know um, everything that's going on now and everything that's gone on in the past, and you're wonderful at sharing that information on Discord. I, I really appreciate I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything you've done for us. Um, it's, just, it's just fantastic. I don't know what we would do without you and, uh, and the other folks that help out, too. So... All right, what are you meowing about back there, buddy? What is it, huh? Did you get stuck back there? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, Megalina. It's really, really sweet. Okay, what else have we got here for today? I think today might go a little quicker than we thought, but we'll see. I can tell who this is from. It's covered in stickers, particularly little owl stickers, and there's also uh, butterflies and kittens. There's a little kitten with an umbrella and a star. A cute little color point. Oh, and a pineapple, of course. All right, let's see. Perfect. Look at that. We have The Note, also covered in stickers. And The Note says, oh, The Note has uh, what appears to be the picture of a community, uh, the church steeple, in fact, and some mountains in the background. Very pretty. Uh, let's see, is this a particular place? Doesn't really say. Oh, Stowe and Vermont, I guess. Stowe Village Summer Day, it says. Oh, okay. So, uh, dear Mr. A, I wound up in Stowe, Vermont today to get a good view of the total eclipse. Oh man, that must have been fantastic. Huh? It wouldn't have been too far of a drive for us. I probably should have tried to do something like that, but... Uh, who's got the time? It was amazing. Um, what we saw here was just, I, I didn't really get to see it because it was behind clouds and uh, really the sky just got weird colored and dim for a while. So that's all we got to see of it. Uh, I'd never been to Stowe and of course all the New England states. I've spent the least amount of time in Vermont. 
My first time visiting, oh, of all the New England states, I've spent the least time in Vermont. My first time visiting the state was in my 30s. Apparently, the Von Trapps of Sound of Music fame moved to Stowe after leaving Austria. Like most Vermont towns, Stowe has a very charming downtown with a bookstore, so of course I had to pay it a visit while I was in town. There, I spotted some socks that were a direct callback to last week's, that's April 6th, mailbag, so I couldn't resist. Besides, it's been a while since I word vomited at you. This year, thus far, has fallen short of my expectations and seems to be competing with 2011 for my worst year ever. I won't drag down mailbag with the details. Suffice it to say, K. Akon is carrying some heavy expectations on its shoulders if it's going to make up for my last few months. Oh man, that sounds like pressure, but I'm looking forward to meeting you there. Uh, I will be at KACON, though. I'll be the one looking slightly bewildered and cornered like an owl who accidentally flew in a kitchen window. I cannot overstate how much easier I find it to express myself in writing. See you in a couple months. Until then, I wish you many rainbows and kitty spoogles from Alice the Owl. Oh, that's really sweet. I think um, almost everybody at KACON feels sort of the same way. Uh, we're all, uh, generally speaking, I think most of us are sort of introverted folks. Um, so I think it'll be fun. You'll fit right in. Also, I love it when people that have a particular job or interest use phrases that relate to that job or interest without even really um, meaning to, you know, like I, if I were to say, let the cat out of the bag, you know, and I wouldn't, I wasn't really doing it intentionally. I always find that to be fun. So uh, your comparison to being a bewildered owl flying into a kitchen window uh, definitely works that way. That's cute. So let's see what you sent. Uh, what is this? This is Dollington's Etsy shop. Okay, maybe that's where the socks came from. It's got coffee. Is the art or are these stickers? Oh, they're stickers. They're little. Oh man, that's a lot of little coffee stickers. Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna take one off right now, except I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right here on my watch for today. There we go, because we've got so many. Ah, there, now it's always coffee time. Uh, I don't know if that's going to stick for long, but we'll see. <laughs> Those are cute. Okay, and then this says for Mr. A, and it's closed up with this washi tape. Oh, oh, these are perfect. Wow, look at that. Oh, there's two sets. These are fantastic. This one is a radiant rainbow, and they are rainbow socks, but they're also sparkly shimmer socks, it says. Those are awesome. I'm going to be excited to wear that. And then these are, ooh, long socks. I definitely like long socks too. Wide calf, knee high. Oh, that sounds perfect for me. Um, I do like long socks. I like the long compression socks too. I haven't worn them in a while, but I just think they're fun to wear. They, they feel good, uh, like a hug for your leg all day long. So these are space cats. And uh, they are space cats. I mean, how else would you describe it? We've got a little cat sitting on a planet here and shooting star with rainbow. And this guy's batting at a galaxy. Um, very, very cute. And then at the top, we also have a little rainbow elastic top. I'm excited to wear all of these. Thank you so much, Alice. Uh, you really did not have to do that, but I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for thinking of us when you went to go see the eclipse. I hope that it was fun, at least, and that you got a good view. Uh, probably was cloudy there too, huh? Um, all right. Well, uh, thank you so much. And I am so much looking forward to KACON this year and meeting uh, new people and seeing old people that we only get to see once a year, really. Uh, I don't get out much for much lately, uh, especially lately. Uh, so KACON is always uh, a bright moment, and I know I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. Uh, I hope you get a chance to kind of get out and, and do some stuff uh, around, like the, you know, people tend to go out on, in the evening, and uh, I hope you get a chance to do that with everybody, too. Okay. Well, oh, this is from Sage's Handmade. It says right there in the return address, Sage's Handmade. Um, that's cute because just this morning DJ came in with uh, Cal's bunny into the kitchen and she's like, what happened here? And she pointed the big green spot that's on the side of it since it got pooped on and I had to wash it off and it, the catnip kind of leaked through and made a green stain on it. Um, that just means it's loved. Uh, so I explained that to her and told her she can't throw it out. It's very special to Cal and she's got to take it with her. So this is the note. 
And it says, Dear Mr. A and... Oh, you're very excited about this, huh? Look at that. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello, and happy anniversary to the KA live stream. Also, happy spring. I hope you're both doing well and you've been able to get out and enjoy a spot clean only, it says on it. Yeah, okay. Well, we've learned. I did spot clean it, though. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which is which. I thought it might be labeled, but it's not. So let's just see. Hang on here. The blue one is for sky, and the green one is for cuddles. Okay, so this is blue. Here, you want to play with one right now? You check that one out, okay? And then you don't have to mess up. Oh, or do you want the tissue? You can have both. There you go. Check that out. I love this. You called it blue. It's really more like a like a teal, sea foamy sort of color, which I love. I think that's beautiful. Okay, so uh, back up here. Uh, I hope you're both doing well, and you've been able to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather in between caring for cuddles and skylights babies. Today, I'm sending you mom cat kick bunnies for skylight and cuddles. The blue one is for sky as light blue is her color, and the green one is for cuddles as green is hers. Uh, this is a, like a rich uh, hunter green with a little bit of mint uh, for the extremities and detailing. I like it. Um, please deploy one of them now and save the other for endowments. The obligatory self-promotion. My Etsy shop is sageshandmade.etsy.com. That's S-A-G-E-S-H-A-N-D-M-A-D-E. Sage is Handmade, where you can find the Kick Bunny crochet pattern to make your own, buy a Kick Bunny, or message me to commission one if they're sold out. There are other cool things for people and cats there, too. Thank you again for creating such an amazing online community of awesome human beings. I'm so glad to be a small part of it. With many thanks for all you do for kittens, cats, and people. Much love, Sage. Sage, thank you so much. It is really sweet of you to make these. I'm curious how long it takes you to make one. Um, you'll have to let me know. I know it would probably take me a lifetime. <laughs> I'd have to learn everything first. Uh, as you can see, they are definitely popular, and I think now you don't just put catnip in them, you put silvervine in too, right? Look at that. She is all about it. She wanted to get it in this box before it was even open. So that is a good toy. You've got poop on your foot, buddy. It's just, uh, I was just complaining, uh, maybe yesterday, maybe the day before, about how these kids have not had the poops that we've seen from the other class, and I was wondering if uh, little Sky here was ever going to let her kitten start pooping, or if she was just going to take care of it forever. Uh, I shouldn't have asked. It's one of those um, one of those cases of be careful what you wish for. You just might get it, because now we've got poop in here too everywhere. <laughs> Quite a mess. That's okay. It's just a little phase. takes a week or two, and then uh, then it's all good, smooth sailing from there. Let's just keep cleaning that foot until it's clean, though, okay? Sage, thank you so much for sending uh, these kick bunnies, though. I know they are very well-loved, sometimes a little too well-loved, as in the case of Cal's that's got that big green spot on it now. Uh, but it just gives it some character, in my opinion. Uh, most most catnip toys are that way. The uh, I mean, you can see this pineapple starting to get that way already, too. You see the big green spot uh, there. Same kind of deal, just from the catnip soaking through. It just shows how much it's been loved. Okay. So, moving right along. This is, uh, let's see, from the tiny plants. Oh, well, that should be fun. There we go. If I can. Trying, trying. Okay, one more. Nota bene. All right, good. Well, that's a good note. And let's see what it says inside. It says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty, mom cats, and kittens, Hello to all from the household with the most KA alumni. Yes, indeed. Uh, things have been somewhat busy here, so we haven't checked in via mail mailbag for a while. But since it's a stream anniversary time, hang on, I'm trying to make sure we can see my lap okay. Uh, since it's a stream anniversary time, we knew we had to say hi. Uh, we're all doing very well here and get along peacefully for the most part. Just the occasional hisses and swats, but every family has a squabble now and then. 
We tiny plants recently had our yearly vet visit and were pronounced to be healthy and adorable. Miss Puddles loves her permanent shiny butler and keeps his facial skin well exfoliated. Brawly is pleased that she hasn't heard any slanderous accusations from you lately, although the Brawly legal defense team has their eyes on a few discorders. They know who they are, naughty people. Um, Bud is everyone's best friend and doesn't do the crab much these days. The humans are looking forward to seeing you and all their other friends, old and new, at KACon in June. On to the box contents. The humans had bought the scratcher some time ago for teaspoon. Oh, well, here, maybe we should start looking at some of this. This looks like some fun uh, packing material for them to play in, too. Maybe not this group. Maybe that's for bigger kids. But let's see. Is this the scratcher? I mean, this is very cool. Um, uh, the scratcher, some time ago for teaspoon, perhaps he'd like to share it with the faculty and students now that he's a faculty member. He's so well known for his traveling ways that they just had to get it for him. This is really cute. It is like a groovy van. It's got some cats on it and obviously a big hole for the cats to go in and out of. Uh, that is adorable. So, American Cat Club Cardboard Scratch Groovy Van. Oh, it's got a hole in the top, too. Perfect. That should be very fun for everybody. Um, the sign in pink paper. All right, pink paper. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Okay. The sign in pink paper is a design mom found that tickled her, so Dad printed it for the Academy on his Bamboo Labs 3D printer. Oh, man, I was just in the basement doing stuff uh, where I've got my 3D printer and my CNC and my laser all, like, stashed. And I just I feel so bad that I haven't been working on any of that stuff pretty much since I moved here, more or less. Uh, my whole life has just been a whole different thing since we've been here. Oh, my goodness, that is quality. That is a very nice print. Wow. Wow, that is flawless. That base almost looks like it's just, you know, like um, something else entirely. Like it's not even 3D printed with that texture in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's fantastic. So, um, it does, uh, it's a five-star review. It's the five stars, would poop here again, <laughs> which is very cute. <laughs> Uh, a design mom found the tickle dish. Dad had printed it for the Academy on his Bamboo Labs 3D printer. It's quite snazzy. It might be good hung appropriately to encourage litter box use by students. Yes, I think so. I could put it like on the little shoji screen. Uh, we've also got the, the ones that said, uh, did they say poop deck? The ones that we got before that were very cute. And there's still one of those that's been sitting um, like in the kitchen the whole time. I look at it. It's right in front of the magic photo frame. I look at it all the time, but I have never put it on the litter box. I should. Just too nice to ruin these things. Like, this is so nice. I'd hate for it to get pooped on. Um, but it is, it's very pretty. So, the item in the yellow paper, okay, is another thing mom saw and asked dad to print out. We think it might be a fun fidget toy the next time you're waiting for a mom cat to have kittens. Ooh, that's exciting. Let's see here. All right, we're getting to it. <laughs> it's packed up in here nice and safe. Let's see. Oh, what? Well, it's a pineapple. And wow, that again, how could you even print the top of this pineapple? That is amazing. That seems like a, you've done a great job. I mean, I would say it's a high quality 3D printer, but I know how much work goes into even the best one, keeping it tuned up and working. So it's obviously all due to you guys. Wow, that's a beautiful. So, as you can see, it is a pineapple. It's got some amazing pineapple texture to it. The things on top are very pokey. And uh, it looks like it also is a spring. How fun is that? That, I, how, wait a minute now. <laughs> it, just, it just occurred to me, this is impossible. This, this is, you literally can't print something like this. How did you do this? How is it possible to do a spring that comes together like this. So it's not like you could print material in between. Maybe you could. Maybe there's enough room for like one tiny little layer to hold these things apart of some dissolvable material. Oh, this is a mystery. I'm going to have to figure this one out. That's crazy. It's so quality too. Fantastic. Hmm. I was hoping I could find a clue if I looked at it close enough, but I just, I don't think there's really anything. 
to give it away. All right, I have to know how this was done. That's very impressive. That's also very cool. It's fun. It's a fun little uh, pineapple spring. Woo! <laughs> what do you think, huh? That's very cute. Thank you so much for that. Um, let's see. The jar in the red paper is a little something sweet, like us kitties, made by the local farm that the humans get veggies from year-round. It's probably in both of you humans enjoyed flavors. Oh, now that's also exciting. All right, that pineapple is really messing with my head. I don't see how that could be done. Also, it's not like it was printed sideways or something. I can see where the bottom was on the platform, so... Huh. I'm going to I'm gonna have to find out how that was done. All right. So. Ooh, strawberry maple preserves. Oh, my goodness, that sounds good. Strawberry maple. Red Fire Farms Fresh Strawberries with Local Maple Syrup. Wow. It says, a dream on toast, a hot date with cheeses, heavenly on a spoon. I don't know about pairing uh, sweet um, jellies with cheese. Uh, maybe that's a thing. doesn't sound like it's a thing for me, but I can definitely just eat it right out of the jar with a spoon. That sounds like a thing for me. Uh, also on toast, one of my favorites. I just love, like, fresh bread with some jam on it, and that's it. I can just eat that all day long. So, thank you very much. Um, anyway, happy, happy stream of Versary. You've made a huge difference over the years in making life better for kitties like us and people like our humans. May it continue to do so and to bring you much joy in all the effort. We and our humans are thankful every day that what you chose to start was being able to bring us together as forever family. I'm sorry, was able to bring us together. Okay, I got it. Um, we're very sure the other alumni and their humans feel the same gratitude. Plus, there's all the folks who watch the stream and escape the stresses of everyday life and feel great joy watching the adorable kitties, silly mom cats, and lovely faculty. Kitten Academy touches so many lives in so many places. It's magical. You should be very proud of all the good you do. Lots of love, purrs, spoogles from Fern, Moss, Thistle, Puddles, Bud, Brawly, and Calimo, Sir Geek, and Auntie Priscilla. Uh, thank you guys so much. It's just wonderful that um, the kittens... It's, I think, in a way, it's super validating that the kittens have been such a, a good time for you that you've come back for more. Uh, I think that says something. And uh, I also think that you're just wonderful folks, and I have a, a good time seeing you annually. Um, so thank you very, very much for that. Um, and this pineapple, it's really, it's really bacon my noodle. <laughs> uh, huh. I'm sure you'll tell me how it was done. There's got to be some trick to it. Interesting. I, I guess I've been out of the 3D printing for uh, too long now. It's been you know, five or six years since I've really run mine. Uh, big change, too, since at some point, you know, I was writing firmware for them, and uh, they I was actually mentioned in a book on 3D printing because of that, uh, which is silly, because I did never intended to keep up with that part. I just did it to show some things that needed to be done. At the time, now everything's done. You know, we got, uh, instead of just using Arduinos, <laughs> people are going hooking them up to Raspberry Pis and stuff, so it's not like we're very limited anymore. I say we, I'm generously including myself as though I have anything in that community nowadays. I'd like to, though. It's not like I've given up on it, so uh, thank you so much for that. All of that is wonderful. I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to push this out of the way a little. There we go. All right, what's next? Oh, oh goodness. All right. This just says Kitten Academy. I'm guessing that this is a little bit more of tahini and flair. Uh, but let's see. Because they said they sent enough ball tracks for everybody. And I didn't count how many came yesterday, but it didn't seem like it was uh, eight. Uh, maybe it was. I'll have to go back and look. Let's see. Indeed, that's exactly what's in here. How did I know? So... Uh, Tahini and Flair, thank you. Two more ball tracks right here. And is there another note for them? It says, enjoy your gift. 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure uh, I'm sure the kittens will enjoy them. Thank you so much for sending ball tracks for them. It's a super toy for everybody that really um, it's you know it's like a lifelong toy that kittens are just gonna enjoy forever. So it is a good choice. Those and the springs, both fantastic classics. Um, some some cat toys are timeless. Oh, this little guy is curled up now. Girl. I can't, I can't with that face. What is that side eye? You're looking at me like suspiciously, but also too cute for words. Oh my goodness. Your face is so big and floofy, it makes your eyes look tiny. I gotta post that straight to Discord because that's too much. Are you already playing in paper here? Go for it, buddy. That's fine. That's good. Got to make sure I posted the right photo there. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Very cute. Okay, this uh, little Joyce just curled up in my lap is the sweetest thing. And Alcove, I was saying Alcove is sort of the one that is least likely to come hang out with me. So it's really sweet to have her, he him, here, her, here, her, yes, her. Very sweet to have her here in my lap during mailbag today. Okay, thank you Tahini and Flair. This says Steph. So, Steph, uh, thank you in advance. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there will also be a note. That would be nice. Oh, there must be a note because it's in an Amazon gift bag. Wow, a big one. A very big one. I love these new Amazon gift bags. They put like handles on them so you can reuse them as just bag bags. And these are festive. Happy 8th anniversary, Mr. A and DJ. Thank you for all you do. We couldn't decide between this and the other, so we sent both. Hope you get good use out of them from Steph and, uh, is it San Sanjana? I mean, that's what I'm going to go with. Thank you, Steph and Sanjana. Okay. Let's see. You sent both. All right. Okay. It is a bed of some type. But it's so rolled up, all I can tell is that it's definitely a bed. Oh, I think that looks like an ear, so it must be some kind of animal thing. Hang on, I'm going to need a different tool to open this. <laughs> Rafter doesn't know what's going on back there. Okay. Let's do this carefully so we don't cut the bed and we can see what is going on. What's up, Raptor? Oh. Okay. Oh, it is like a... What kind of animal is this? like it's got ears but it's also kind of like drooling honey it I don't know it makes me think of Winnie the Pooh um, that is like well I guess uh, I guess that's what it is right like what is this drool and then ears and the uh, kind of Winnie the Pooh sort of colors I think if you ask me that's that's what I get the impression of so that's what we're gonna go for maybe there's a note here that helps Oh, that's exactly what it is. It says honey pot cat bed. So it makes sense it's a honey pot. It doesn't entirely make sense that it's also got ears on it, but that works for me. Uh, it's interesting because we were sent a honey pot uh, bed before that it would look like a honey pot on its side. And it was deployed for a little while, but I was just looking at it in the basement thinking it might be fun to put in the forest jungle uh, den downstairs. This would also be a good choice to go in there. It's a very nice pod too. It stands up really well. That's great. Okay, so let's see. Is this the other or the same? Happy 8th anniversary, Mr. A and DJ. Thank you for all you do. And then there's one more thing in here that says, Happy 8th anniversary. This one is mostly for the little spoon who loves a ball track from Steph and Sanjana. Okay, well, let's try this. 
So this must be the other bed first. Hang on here. Untie the knot carefully. Got it. All right. Well, this one's even more of a mystery since it's wrapped up in something opaque. Hmm. It feels like this one's got some more... Um, Huh. All right, let's see. This feels like it's got some metal uh, like support to it. Like a, let's see. I have to carefully, carefully. Oh, here, maybe those scissors would be a good bet right here. Is it? Oh, it is. It's a cat tunnel. Okay, that makes sense. And it's got a dinosaur on it and some dinosaur bones and uh, what looks like maybe uh, some dinosaur footprints as well. Hmm. Is it is it the donut shaped one that's got the the bed in the middle? I think we're going to have to open it a little bit more to find out. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it is now. I can see it's starting to floof up a little. So, here we go. Let's put that in there for the moment. Hang on, this is stuck on my fingers now. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. So, this is the little pillow bed that goes in the middle of the ball track. And you can see it's got a dinosaur on it. Uh, we don't call those brontosaurs anymore, do we? I'm having trouble thinking what they're called now, though. I can't... Uh, uh, oh, brain! No, okay, no, I haven't got it, but that's okay. I don't need to know. Um, and then this tunnel has something on it, too. Is that an ear? Oh, it's a little dinosaur uh, thing sticking up. All right, we're going to have to take a look. Let's see if I'll be able to put it back together. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I don't know what to see right there. So it is going to be donut shaped when it's done. I'm not going to undo both sides because then it's going to be a real pain for me to put it back together. And then it's got this little tab that just sticks up with a dinosaur on it, I guess. Wait, no, there must be two of them because that's not the one I was just looking at. Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, just a little tab on either side for some reason. It's a cute little detail. And then we got holes in the side for the kittens to get into. And, of course, there's, um, there's little tabs in the middle to attach to this bed. So when it's deployed as a donut-shaped bed, donut-shaped tunnel, uh, that bed can be part of it. That is also perfect. Oh, that's so cool. And the dinosaur motif is fun. Uh, we've got a lot of other dinosaur stuff around, too, so... That could all go together very nicely. And hey, look at that. This gift bag makes a perfect bag to put it back into as a storage bag. That is perfection. Now that I've already taken it all out of the plastic, this is a good way to preserve it. Thank you very, very much, Steph. And son. And then there's one more thing also in here. Here we go. This is like I'm talking about with the handles on it, so you can reuse it. Very nice. And this one is for teaspoon. Oh, it's jingly. Four levels. Oh, wow. This one's got uh, some sort of an animal head on top with another ball in it. Oh, I guess you can see that. They call it a turntable cat toy. But uh, on the back, there's pictures of... Oh, this says green. So this one is going to be the little frog head, I take it? Let's see. Oh, oh, there's extra toys packed in here. Look at that. There's a fun tube and some mice and uh, little crinkle balls. Here, you guys can have those. I'm sure Teaspoon doesn't mind since they're right here. He wasn't looking. Oh, well. Uh, oh, there's still more. I just want to see the head part, and then we can give the rest of it to Teaspoon and put it together in there. Oh, but I can't. I still can't see the head part, and there's so many more toys in here. They're all going to come flying out. Here it is. Okay. Oh, 
it looks like there must be little stickers I'm going to have to put on for the eyes because I don't see any eyes here yet. But, uh, well, there you go. You get the idea more or less, I think. Oh, this is going to have to go this way. There we go. I'm going to put a little ball or a toy in the top there. That's a cute idea. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch more toys in here. Look at that. Even a wand. This is a great... This is way more than just a cat uh, ball tower. There's a lot going on in this package. That's cool. Okay. Can we put it back in there to take to the bedroom for a teaspoon, though? Okay, I think we can. Good, 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 good. I like the ball tracks that have cutouts in, in each level, too, because that makes it easy for the cat to see that ball flying around from multiple angles. So I think that's a nice feature in a ball track. There we go. Right on in there. All right, that's not even nearly nicely put away, but that's fine, because we're going to probably put it out as soon as mailbag is over. So I'll put it back in there for the moment. Right there. And then this guy, um, wow, I, I, guess I'll put him, I guess I'll put him away for now. This, is, this has got some real heft to it. Like it's, They didn't um, skimp on the, the foam material that's probably going to make it keep its shape really well, which is it's always a problem with our cat beds is that the cats like to jump on them, and then they, they don't, they're not pods anymore. <laughs> so uh, that is perfection, really. Let's see how much of this I can get back in there, though. We can use the bag here the same way. Take this out for the kittens. This out for the... There we go. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Those are both very cute beds and the uh, uh, and uh, tunnel. And, um, and I'm sure Teaspoon will absolutely love that ball track. And all the little associated toys that didn't come out. Uh, these ones can stay here for these guys. So they'll have fun with that. I think I've said before that uh, these um, Mylar balls are great toys for this age because it's still hard for them to sort of track stuff. And if you squeeze these up, they make a lot of crinkly noise as they sort of come apart and it gives kittens a chance to sort of go and investigate them and play with them, perhaps. These guys are all asleep in my lap, though. Everybody except for Gabe. Where's Gabe? Last time I saw him, he was back behind the boxes. Did he get back in the mouse? Oh, he did. He's just sitting there, staring out of the mouse. You're as creepy as the mouse is right now, buddy. Hi. Hi, yes, you are. Okay. All right, a couple more boxes here. Uh, hard for me to reach them without disturbing these kittens. They're all asleep in my lap, though. Let's see what I can do. Trying to come up with a plan here. Let's think for one second about how to get the rest of the boxes. They're just out of reach there. Well, this human doesn't have any brilliant human ideas. We're just going to have to get them. But they're kind of on a pillow, so if I'm careful and I can scooch the pillow with me... No, I can't. It's not going with me. Ah, 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 ah. So close. Ah. Oh, oh, maybe I got it. Ah, ah. Oh, don't disturb the kittens. All right. There we go. Okay. Move back just a little. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. No, 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 no. No, you're fine. You're fine. Go back to sleep. You're in a good spot right there. Okay. Uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy. That's us. So, oh, fun tubes! Oh, look at that. Wow. That is a whole bunch of fun tubes. And what does it say? It says, Dear Snugglers, we hope you enjoy a few of our favorite toys from Tahini and Flare. Well, I should have guessed. Of course I should have guessed. Fun tubes are always great. And uh, when you get these, they come like usually like long tubes like this. But you've got to remember that they're the most fun when you, when you push the ends in so that they become springy little springs like this. So if you buy fun tubes for your cats and they're like, these aren't fun at all, uh, this is how you make them fun. These are a classic. Um, and kittens do love them. They always get just destroyed out here or pushed under the fridge or both. Destroyed under the fridge. So I'm going to put those right here. That's the right spot for them. Perfect. And Tahini and Flair, thank you once again. Okay. This is also just addressed to Kitten Academy. Let's see... If it is also Tahini and Flair. 
didn't even get to it at all. Hang on. Hmm. Weemium. What does that mean? Eco-friendly. All right. Oh, it says biodegradable paper straws. I bet that's a fun toy. Some of our cats love playing with paper straws, so we thought we would send some for the Academy. Feel free to use as you see fit. From Frozen Tundra Crew. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much. i got to be honest, um, the I don't know if I've seen a paper straw myself since I haven't really been out uh, many places since that became the thing instead of plastic. So I am uh, very curious to see whoop, whoop, what these are like. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, wow, these are much uh, nicer than I expected out of the phrase paper straw. Uh, you can't really bend them, but they are like, they're more like little tiny, thin cardboard tubes, and they're so pretty. I love the, the stripiness of them. These come in a million colors, and I can very much imagine that kittens would love to play with these the same way that they love to play with like a Q-tip or something, but this has even more... Those stripes have got to be very visually appealing. I mean, they are to me. They must be to a kitten, too. Oh, these are going to be really fun. I'm going to leave a couple of these right here. I wonder if I can put them someplace fun for the kittens to, like, grab. Not really. I don't see any place to stick them that's in here yet. But uh, that is that is a fun idea. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see mostly, like, what Teaspoon and the bigger kids are going to do with them. Because I bet if I toss one of those, they are going to be all about it. And I love all the different colors. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, that's not quite what I imagined when people said that they were all using paper straws now. It's much nicer. I could I could see using that indefinitely. I kind of want to try one when uh, I'm having my next Diet Coke. Or my coffee. I could try one of my coffee right now. Let's do that. You ever drink coffee through a straw? I never have, but my coffee's room temperature now, so what's that going to hurt? Hang on. I want to know. i got to have this experience now. It works. I guess that's all you need. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, fun. Fun times. I like that, uh, you know, uh, eight years on, Kitten Academy still exposing me to new things. What's not to like about that? So this is a giant box. It's our last box. And we're going to end up our two days of mailbag for our anniversary on a box from, uh, I believe this is from Pat MM, or uh, maybe it's from Trouble and Carrie. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, okay. We got some packing material right on top. We'll move that out of the way. Oh, refills on some of the things that uh, we've been sent in the past. I see those. Those are great. Congrat, happy mailbag anniversary! Congrats on another year of successfully matriculating 29 fosters, 4 mom cats, 25 kittens. For a total of 8 years, 346 fosters, 49 mom cats, 10 fakers, 287 kittens. I don't know if that count quite adds up with what Magalina said. I mean, they're close though. They're within an order of magnitude. That's good enough for me. Might not take a village, but it does take 239,088 YouTubers, 3,865 Discorders, six faculty members along with one shiny butler, uh, CCO, chief cleaning officer, head gardener, main scooper, chauffeur, medicine dispenser, janitor, maintenance engineer, lead developer, <coughs> primary kitten wrangler, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. One lead scrawl intern, mother of names, head spoogler, chief decorating advisor, kitten licker, kitten napper extraordinaire, maker of food balls, blanket change requester, guardian against eye boogers, expert burner of fries. Just a few things from Trouble and Carrie for use as you see fit in the new year. Oh, thank you so much, Trouble and Carrie. So. First off, we have uh, the Kitten Academy branded fun tubes. They have our logo on them and they say Kitten Academy. And Kitten Academy branded ping pong balls. And we've had these in the past. Um, we do put these out around the Academy once in a while, but you probably haven't noticed since it's kind of subtle if you're not looking for it. Uh, but what we definitely do is include them in every endowments. They're great for that. 
I like to do it, and I, I think it's fun to, to have something that's sort of Kitten Academy branded. It's just nice. It's a nice touch. So speaking of reusable bags, this is a really cute kitten uh, print bag that can also be like a backpack. You can wear it or carry it around. And inside it we have... Mm, it's pink. It's felted. Oh, it's double. There's two things. And there's a card of some sort. Thank you for helping me out. Aw. Okay, we've got two fuzzy coves, which uh, I know because these are from fuzzycove.com, F-U-Z-Z-Y-C-O-V-E. Uh, so they are obviously felted beds, and we've got one in this brilliant pink and one in this wonderful lavender. Um, this says something on it that doesn't mean anything to me. It says, I believe, E-A-V-M. So that must be their way of describing what they've put in there. <laughs> uh, this I can see has ears. I think we're going to have to see what both of these are. Right meow. And then uh, I guess we'll let our expert decorator figure out where they need to go. I'd like to figure out what's in them. I'm just going to need some way to carefully open them. All right, let's start here with this knife. Put it right in one of these seams, and then maybe we can avoid cutting any of the felt. I need to put a new blade on this. I know we've got them right there in the box, too. Yeah, it's getting kind of dull. Okay. Oop. Huh, what is this? Is this a handle or is it a tail? Oh, it's a tail. Ears and a tail. All right. Ooh. Oh, hey, that's nice. It's cute. It's got embroidery on it, too. You know, I haven't seen that very often on these beds. And a cute little tail. All right. So it's got a tail, and it's got ears, and it's got a little nose, and all the thing. Oh, and there's a couple toys stuck in it, too. Look at that. How cute. It's, I love the little nose and the ears and the whiskers. Oh, it's got all of it. And this is two balls on a string, like a, like a bola. Uh, bola? Bolo? No, bolo's like a tie or a be on the lookout. Bola is like the slingshotty thing that you throw, right? I don't know. Anyway, we've got two little balls on a string. That's got to be a fun toy. Probably really good for throwing. Maybe uh, Loganberry would like to play fetch with it. And then this pink, um, I almost wanted to describe, describe it as like, it's got strawberry pink stripes on it. You know, like it looks like it would be strawberry flavored. And I like the way they made the little tail point up. So it's got some character to it. That is adorable. Okay, I'm going to put the string toy in here, though. I don't want these kids to have it. I think that's for an older kitten. And what have we got in here, then? Oh, okay. Well, I see a bit of leather on this one. These felted wool pods are so nice. Uh, I think they are the classic example, though, of the pods that just get sat on instead of in. Um, I will see. But that's what's already happened to the last one that DJ bought. Oh, oh, look at that. So this one is also a cat, but it's a very different shape. Um, here we go. It's all purple, and it's got just a little tag on the front that looks like a cat. That's very uh, like a reserved sort of logo. I like that, too. There we go. I hope you can see that okay. It's got uh, the ears have got a wonderful shape to them, and the pod's a little bit bigger than the other one, I think, maybe just a little bit wider or deeper, I should say. Um, but a little more just like cat head shape versus this is like an entire cat over here. Um, and I love how sort of round and fat the, the pink cat is. Um, these are both wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, Trouble and Carrie. Those are going to be fantastic beds. Uh, we'll let DJ decide exactly where they're going to go. I think I still have things from our last mailbag anniversary that you've sent um, in the basement, too. I was just looking at them like there's a wonderful hammock that I really have to deploy soon. Every time I go down there, I look at it, and I'm like, that's got to go out somewhere. And, of course, the cheese that I just put out is from there as well. So uh, then what is this one here? Let's see. Hang on. Did I just? No. Okay, that's everything. So this is it. And what is it? Best wishes, you've been expecting me. Open me, thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> well, it's a very polite box, let me say that. 
Um, I don't know about I've been expecting him, though. Let's see here. Well, what is it? Hang on here. It is a flat bed sort of thing. It's some assembly required. And uh, so far, this doesn't really give it away, does it? All right, more of that. Uh, what piece is going to give it away? Are we going to be able to tell what this is without putting it together? Or is it like one of those puzzles you got to put it together to know what it is? Hang on. Oh, okay, lots of little bits. Stripey. Oh, look at that. I recognize it now. <laughs> These colors, the golden arches. Uh, interesting, very interesting. Hmm. Is it a McDonald's box? Meow Donald's. All right, well, there you go. Uh, this is the probably the front of the store. It's very plain because I can see it's got little tabs to put in the like window coverings and stuff. So that will make it super distinctive when assembled. Uh, but otherwise, the outside is just kind of white and red. Uh, but I think all the extra detailing, like those little awnings and stuff, are going to make it super distinctive. And uh, there's not an instruction, so we are going to have to figure it out. But DJ likes a puzzle. That's fun, Meow Donaldson. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's fun. Uh, I guess parody can let you get away with a lot, although I have a feeling that uh, there's a certain clown that wouldn't be very happy about this uh, product. <laughs> um, I was just, there was just something I was, I think I was listening to, I listened to a few different movie podcasts and so I'm not sure which one. It might have been Overhated, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Overhated is just a, a great... The, one of the things I love about Overhated as a movie podcast is it's, just what, it's about just what it sounds like. Movies that most people think are bad or that you know have got a bad reputation. But uh, every episode, if somebody comes on to sort of talk about and defend a movie that they really like, that everybody else thinks is no good. And... Uh, one thing I love about it is the host is it's always got such a positive attitude about the things, you know, it's like, because that's what it's about, um, you know, it's not about tearing down a movie like most of the, the movie stuff I listen to is. It's about sort of building up uh, something, and I love that positivity um, and the just general positivity. You know, it's great. Overhated. I strongly recommend uh, as a podcast. But, oh, there is one more thing here. Let's see what this is while I'm, while I'm saying. What was I going to say about it? I was going to say... Um, I think it was on a recent episode of that where they were talking about how, uh, oh, in regards to the movie Mac and Me, uh, they were talking about how McDonald's would not let, it would not appear in any films. They wouldn't, they wouldn't allow McDonald's to be filmed or appear in a film uh, at all. Uh, and Mac and Me was like one of those rare marketing deal exceptions to that where you can actually see a McDonald's, uh, which makes sense. I mean, whatever. But then I thought back and I thought, you know, it never occurred to me, but in retrospect, you're like, yeah, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you never see McDonald's in a movie, or you, <laughs> at least not from that era. Uh, so I thought that was super interesting. Uh, and seeing the McDonald's here, of course, made me think of that. So this is some kind of a bed, I think, uh, but it's hard to tell exactly what. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's not. I know exactly what this is now that it's pooped up a little. It is a fur rug for us to use for kittens, but it's in a lovely sort of a sky blue color. I guess I know who this needs to be for then, don't I? Don't I, sky? Yeah, maybe. Uh, um, it sounds, seems like it needs a little bit of airing out, <laughs> uh, but that's a lovely uh, blue fake fur. We like to have these around. Uh, I'm sure you've seen plenty of these kinds of things on our stream, but never quite in this color. What are you typing at? What are you reaching for there, Sky? Is it my toe? No, oh, it is. It's my toe. Okay. Uh, this is really cute. I would leave this here right now, but these kids, like I was just saying at the beginning of Mailbag, they're entering into their poop phase. And uh, this, is, this is definitely a big poop target, so I'm going to put that right back in the box as well. And this is a wonderful little backpack bag. I can use this to go shopping or whatever. That's great. So that was our eighth anniversary mailbag. And I think someone that was more considerate than I am 
would probably have come up with something inspiring to say or some thanks um, or sort of something to cap off eight years. But um, I got nothing. I really got nothing except I just, I'm so grateful to all of you and not just for sending things for our kittens, but just for for being there, for participating, for, for being part of Kitten Academy, you know, uh, whether you're on our Discord or not, whether you uh, are on our Patreon or not, you know, it doesn't, that's, that's not important to me, uh, fundamentally. Uh, I, I think it's, it's far more important to me that, that um, you're just out there enjoying it and, uh, and sort of being part of my extended family, in a way, can I, can I say that? It sounds sort of presumptuous of me to say that, but I certainly feel that way. Uh, so, uh, thank you all for that, I, everybody. Uh, it's greatly, greatly appreciated, and I hope that we can hang out together for another eight years. I think that would be a lot of fun for me. So, well, um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my wrap-up. That's what I got for you. Uh, um, that's uh, sadly the best I can do. I think you deserve more. Uh, I really do think you deserve more, but, um, you know, uh, maybe, maybe we'll get there. <laughs> okay, big floofer, I got to get all this stuff put away now and uh, get things taken care of. So I'm going to turn off my mic right now, I think, and uh, we'll move on. can't switch the mics back until I find where I put my phone, which I'm probably not going to do until I stand up and start moving things. So uh, if one of the admins wants to do it, feel free. Otherwise, I'll get to it uh, in due time. Did you want to say something for the mic? What? You got nothing now? You were just talking. Oh, Oh, there's a little. Say it again. What are you saying? Hi. Big floofer. Boop. Still not great at tracking things. That takes some time to develop though. You'll get it, you'll get it. These two are so cute. I don't even want to get up, but I'm gonna to have to. Oh, 
how am I supposed to walk away with this going on right here? after complaining please stop touching me i'm trying to take a nap in your hand okay sit right there you can take a nap with mom i don't even have to wake up and you too little joist All right, let's go let's go tiny thing i know i know such a tiny thing go right back to sleep okay now let me wake you up wow you are tiny so much tinier than any other kitten you gotta make sure you eat and grow big like Clifford the big red dog. He started out tiny too. Start with this end, Ma. There you go. Ah, there's my phone. I'm sure this is already taken care of though. Yes, of course. Thank you. What is that? Did that poop happen during mailbag? It did. Was it? How did I miss it when I cleaned up all the poops over there? Yeah. Just because it's on the black stripe. <laughs> That'll do for now. Oh, my favorite rug. Took such good care of it since we moved in and I bought it from my office when we moved in. Finally given over to kittens.
Very nice. I was just talking to DJ about what to do with the McDonald's and the beds. And uh, um, I was thinking that we've got the McDonald's, we've got the Donut Hut, we've got um, a coffee shop in the basement, we've got a couple of other things like that. We can almost have like a little cat town square with all that stuff together. And DJ thought maybe the camper could be part of that. Uh, that seems like a fun idea. So maybe we'll end up doing that. But like she said, uh, these kids are in their poop phase, so we might have to wait a week or two before we get started on that idea. Uh, nonetheless, thank you all for everything there. Uh, if I'm gonna do it, I'll use the tape that we got. DJ thought the poop sign was cute and the pineapple is a mystery to both of us. Very cool. She did point out that each little pineapple thing has like segments in it, and I was wondering maybe it just was a print that took a million years to do like a segment and then wait and then a segment and then I don't know. I don't even know if that would work. Oh, it's so interesting. Okay. Well, let's move this stuff out. Oh, I'm going to bring these straws over too. I want to see that in action.
Hi. Okay, I gotta take all this stuff downstairs, okay? Kids, I hear you yelling at me, but it's not going to get you anything, okay? Oh, oh, Sky, okay, hang on. No, no, not you, buddy. Not you. Okay, you got to stay in here. Kids, what are you all doing there in the corner now? Let's not go. Let's not go in the corner. Good thing you're in the corner. <laughs> Alright, come on. i got to open the door more. You can't be right there. Put all the stuff away, right? 